Oh my Gucci spread these guys, I'm just delicious, juicy, sweet and spicy Taurus. Welcome to your love tarot reading, already cards flying out. Today we're going to take a look at you and your person, my baby, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bundle day, marriage. Oh, let's take a look, Taurus. Also happy full moon energies. Everything is so hot and heavy. I always feel it hot and heavy when the full moon is upon us, baby. Let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is going on? Um, this is your July 2023 energy, Taurus, for you and your baby. So I already see... Mm -hmm. You felt played by this person, particularly if it was a newish energy in your life. You felt played by them. Somebody walked away from a connection here. The Eight of Cups, oh, it's kind of sad. This person is a douche flute. They are a douche flute. Uh, the Four of Cups here, uh, you know, these are the two extra cards that came out, Page of Wands. You know, you felt played. You felt like this person moved on, rejected something beautiful, and they just, you know, went on with their player ways. <laughs> yeah, this person is closed off to love, you know. They're kind of like emotionally unavailable in general, um, <clears throat> not just with you, baby. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. They're very like, yeah, very emotionally unavailable, very selfish. Um, although they are suffering right now, by the way. The nine uh, of wands, so they are suffering. They feel like they left uh, you with a bunch of, um, bunch of unanswered questions in a way, or like it's unfinished business to them. And it is someone who feels like they hurt them. You know, they hurt you, they didn't treat you right, but at the same time, they hurt themselves even more because they, you know, usually when some somebody leaves another person with an unfinished business, they're a total douche flute. You know, douche flute doesn't care. You gotta deal with the damage. But this douche flute is actually going through some kind of, you know, a <laughs> guilt phase, bruising for their bruise, you know. They bruise themselves, because now, uh, all they think about is you, and they just wanted to, you know, go and be a player, go and be a douche flute. Let's see, please show me angels of love. What happened here? Also, Taurus, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. Never mind your douche flute, whatever. You can get a new one today. Um, baby, let me just say welcome. Uh, your mommy loves you. Give me a kiss. Mm, I love you, Taurus, because, you know, we're opposite signs. I'm Scorpio. We're like two little peas. In a pod, but we're like two extremely different peas, but we, we're from the same pod, baby. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. And Taurus, the tarot prices are going up, so grab your readings now. If you want to get a reading with me, all the information and the old pricing is in the description box below. They were going to go up today, but Mommy has had nothing but troubles, curses, and technical issues, and I wasn't able to upload any videos this weekend, so I wasn't able to uh, tell people, um, you know, about the upcoming price uh raise so i'm going to give you another two days so prices will go up on the fifth you got until the end of the fourth of july to let me know they want to get a reading and if it's borderline i'll still accept you know how it goes because i love you my baby but it's time for an energy upgrade and uh i'm just so grateful to uh, every single one of you for supporting my channel for so long and being such scrumptious my babies but it's time because inflation is killing your mommy uh, okay three minutes and it's okay to say Oh, YouTube overlords, don't cancel me. I love you. Mm. Also, Taurus, leave me a like if you want to help my channel. Uh, leave me a little like and a comment uh, so the YouTube overlords, the AI overlords, know you like me. <laughs> okay, and I love you, AI overlords. Don't cancel me. Okay. <laughs> Taurus, your mommy's just like off the rails. All right, seven of wands. Yeah, they were very like defensive. You know, this person is all out for themselves. They were so used, you know, if it's a bimbo himbo, anyone between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, it is someone who is so used to being by themselves and just like fighting for themselves, fighting the world, lone wolf energy. They were so used to that. They were like unable to um, kind of relax in the connection with you. And Taurus needs that. You know, you need someone to relax with. You need someone to, um, you know, give you that little pat on your, uh, you know, um, on your horns and stuff, you know, you need someone who's relaxed. You you, you, you don't do well with people who are kind of like, you know, crazy and erratic. Although, I mean, crazy in a good way, yeah, but not in a toxic way. And I think this person was kind of toxic. Very like, you know, they, it's almost like they became feral. They, they were so like, they tried to be a player for so long and had so many kind of like, you know, bad or toxic or unstable relationships. They just came into this jaded, came into this defensive, you know, who's gonna hurt who? 
um, you know, eat or be eaten kind of energy. Like it's kind of, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but I mean, that's where your person's coming from energetically. You know, if you were wondering why they didn't, you know, why they weren't scrumptious towards you in the end, this is why. Um, the seven of pentacles here between the two of you, this person was um, analyzing the situation, being selfish, analyzing their options here. Let's see, tell me more about this energy. Mm -hmm. The sun. Yeah, selfishness. Ego. Tell me more. Yeah, the magician. This person also lied to about something. I see that. So, you know, they lied to about how much, maybe they said they were looking for a long-term connection and they were trying to come in as a player. you got the eight of swords here. So, you know, they gaslighted you about something here and quite possibly either ghosted or like pushed you away. And, you know, they left you with all this unfinished business, but it's hurting them more than it is you, baby. Hmm. <laughs> They see you as the Knight of Pentacles, so they see you as the one, you know, they actually see you as a long-term prospect, and they see you as the one that, you know, they would love to, uh, they'd love to offer you something again. They would like, to, they'd like you to accept their offer again, but they know that because of their past behavior with you now, you know, the dishonesty, the defensiveness, the emotional unavailability, they know you're going to be very guarded about it, and they know you have good boundaries, and that you're a very stable little bit though. And, you know, that makes it difficult for users to kind of, you know, come in and use you, baby. So don't worry about this douche loop. They're not even, whatever. Also, Taurus, if it was an established connection, again, you had a gaslighter, someone who's very calculated, um, almost narcissistic energy, I would even say, you know, someone who had traits of that, traits of extreme selfishness, would lie, just a um, chronic liar quite possibly too, you know, the magician, and someone's very defensive, out for themselves, a liar. And, you know, you just felt like it became a bit of a prison in this situation because that eight of swords is like, I mean, whatever you do, wherever you turn, this person wasn't giving you what you uh, required, not even the bare minimum. Um, not a lot of emotional um, support from them. They weren't supporting you emotionally. They weren't, they weren't taking care of you. They were just like, just lying, so many lies. But now they feel like they can't, they can't stop thinking about you. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. You know, can queen anyone between? You just needed that person to give you that scrumptiousness and stability. And they just kept on giving you drama and selfishness. And very, cal there's something super calculated about this person, you know, all about themselves and the uh, page of wands, you know, immaturity. Mm -hmm. Also, for some of you, I feel like if it was an established connection, uh, you wanted to settle down and have children. This person always had, um, always had some kind of an excuse. You know what I mean? And they just, where they told you they also wanted children, but they were lying to you. It was very calculated, like, because they wanted to keep you, baby. Because Tori Spipil, you are so scrumptious. You give people so much love and stability and scrumptiousness. Mm, your heart is uh, pure. It's made out of gold. And that person just wanted to, you know, suckle at the teat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying so I'm suckle at the teat in all the videos today. Because I just, I love saying that. All right, the three of um, cups here for their intentions. Um, they want to reach out and say, you know, let's get a drink, let's talk, let's try and figure it out. Um, but it's a kind of difficult energy. The three wands and the hanged man, they're going to take a long time doing it. So by the time they do it, you may be totally over this, Taurus. Let's get some advice for you. I'm not doing advice today, but I'm going to uh, get some advice for you. Because it's going to take this person a very long time. Could be... I mean, you know, time is relative in the tarot. It could be any time between now and even Pisces season next year. Because, um, I mean, they're suffering, but... Uh, but they're so selfish, yeah. Okay, Taurus, so here's your advice. Uh, the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. Uh, consider how much trouble this person gave you and how much pain they gave you. And by the way, Taurus, you know, it could be three hours, three days, three weeks. I don't know, because you got the Three of Wands here. It's just... You know, the timing could be delayed here. So, you know, whatever the situation is for you, if it's a recent separation, maybe a quick return. But they're just really dragging their feet. And, you know, this person... So just consider how much pain they already gave you and how long they kind of left you. Um, wondering what happened, how long they left you with your pain. And the Page of Cups, you know, um, maybe there, there's a different love out there for you. Maybe there's a new bill and new fishy swimming at you in the sea of love. Maybe you already met somebody or already talking to somebody. So, you know, don't get derailed by this person's return because they're taking such a long time. And they're kind of a douche loot and a liar. 
you know, consider everything that, ha even if they come back, like, totally reformed, just, you know, don't forget what they did to you because this is an indication for you of what this person is capable of. That's it. That's it, douche flute, if you're the cross puncher. <laughs> These energies can't switch over cross watcher. It's okay. I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, Taurus. This is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that notification button for the AI overlords. All right, tell them I've been a good girl. And uh, yeah, for reading stories, all the information is below with the old pricing. I'll see you next time. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm stumbling over my words today. It's full moon. Um, full moon words. Uh, baby, stay moisturized, extra moisturized uh, in the summer if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. I'll see you next time, and may the angels protect you. Mm. Mm.